Albert, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much, Two questions. Uh, the first one, a very general one. History brought us together. Will the economy tear us apart? Um, no, I don't think that's the case. Actually, if you look at the history of the European Union, it has always been driven by economic factors. So I think that right now we're just looking at a period of transformation and it's new economic trends and we need to adjust the institutions to the new economic trends. But I think it's the economy that will bring us closer together in the future, for better or worse. And I hope that this future is going to be more consolidated, more harmonized, and that we will have a real unique, not only market, but a real unique union in the future. Thank you very much. And the second question, um, that's quite more general. And well, actually, no, it's, it's going to be more specific and, and more closely related to your own expertise. I've always had this question, why is it so bad whenever the Commission does something that is not directly or explicitly sort of um, announced or does not become common knowledge at the national electorates? Why is the Commission, which indirectly consists of uh, or is the product of, of nationally elected uh, governments at the national level, which why, why is it always a signal of an increasing democratic deficit? And, and, and if it is the case, whether you think that this has gone worse uh, or whether it has sort of deteriorated as a result of the crisis? Well, I think that one of the problems with the Commission, even if it's the executive power of the European Union, is that it should work only within the competencies that the treaty grants the European Union. And what I think is that the European Commission oftentimes finds it very limiting. So they find ways to exceed the competential attributions by taking action that is usually not that transparent. And I think that's a problem, that they are overstepping the traditional competencies they've been granted, not so much the way they work. I, I agree if it's an executive power, it should have the quick reaction powers required. But I think the problem is that they overstep the, the red lines. And, and the second problem is within the Commission, if you look at the level where decisions and, and the level of expertise of the people directly involved with it, well, this is something we don't really know. And, and it's very hard to make people accountable when you don't really know who has been working on things. And I, I think that's what I would like to see in the future, a bit more transparency on who has been dealing with things, who has been making decisions, so that then we can at least challenge or, or make them accountable. Thank you very, very much.